welcome to this short presentation delivered by the Herefordshire Regiment Museum. Please take a moment to look at our other presentations and our website. This presentation is about the Home Guard in Herefordshire during World War II. We all think we know all about the Home Guard from that gallant bend of men, the Warmington-on-Sea Home Guard. While service in the Home Guard may have had its lighter moments, it was a serious organization with a serious role and one it was well trained to undertake. After the evacuation from Dunkirk, there was a real invasion threat to the UK and it was decided to form a new unit for home defense. On the 14th of May, the BBC broadcast an appeal for volunteers to come forward for this new unit to be known as the Local Defence Volunteers and known by the acronym LDV. <clears throat> Within 24 hours, a quarter of a million men had volunteered and this was to grow to over one and a half million. There were no uniforms or equipment for them and their sole item of uniform was an armband bearing the letters LDV. Within days, the force was retitled Winston Churchill thought the term local defense volunteers was too complicated and wanted the force called what it was designed to be, the Home Guard. <clears throat> the Home Guard was part of the War Department and administered by the local Territorial Army Associations. In Herefordshire, they wore the cap badge of the Herefordshire Regiment and the standard Home Guard showed title, either black or white on khaki. Beneath this, they wore a county identifier. In the case of Herefordshire, HFD. Beneath the county flash, they wore the battalion number. There were six Home Guard battalions in Herefordshire, as shown here. In the early days, there were not enough uniforms or equipment to go around and men prayed in civvy clothes with just an armband. They also had a variety of weapons from sporting pieces to pitchforks. There was also an organization formed known as the Auxiliaries. They did not train with the mainstream Home Guard, but were part of 202 Battalion General Headquarters Reserve and were trained in demolition and sabotage. They had secret bases where their explosives and weapons were stored and operated in patrols of three to five men. There were six auxiliary patrols across Herefordshire. Training for the Home Guard was tough and thorough. Many men had seen service in the First World War and they all knew their local area. They eventually had good equipment and the Home Guard was issued with the Thompson submachine gun before regular troops. Almost every town and village had its own detachment. Their role was in case of invasion to delay the enemy to allow regular troops to reform and conduct a counterattack. They were also alert to the threat of enemy parachutists. Almost every town and village had its own home guard detachment. It is surprising how many detachments had the local pub as their meeting place. The photo on the left here shows the Tupsty Company of the 3rd City Battalion at the Rose and Crown Pub. <clears throat> on the right is shown the battalion drums and bugles. Erdesley had a mounted patrol as shown here. And specialist units were formed with local employers at the Royal Ordnance Factory at Rotherworth, as shown here, but also at Baroni Metals, the GPO, and the Great Western Railway. Little is known about the Home Guard in Herefordshire. Whilst quite a few photographs exist, many are not named, and there is no complete role of those that served. Later in the war, females were recruited into the Home Guard, generally in an, in an administrative role, but some were trained as radio operators. 
The headquarters of the 5th Battalion was at the drill hall in Ledbury. These pictures show the Home Guard on parade in Ledbury. The duties in Ledbury included guarding the railway tunnel and the viaduct, as well as undertaking aircraft spotting and tracking duties. The Herefordshire Home Guard wore a transfer badge on their steel helmet. They were the only unit of the Herefords to wear this badge. And you can clearly see that badge at the Ledbury Parade. Whether these photographs are of the same parade in Ledbury is not certain, but again, a parade in Ledbury. On the right, marching around the top cross, and then on the left, the Lord Lieutenant speaking to troops on the town football ground at the lower end of Knee Street. After D-Day in June 1944, the invasion threat disappeared, and in December, the Home Guard was stood down. A county parade was held on Edgar Street football ground, followed by a march past through High Town. At Standdown, the strength of the Home Guard in Herefordshire was about 7,500 men and women. The Home Guard had stood ready to do its duty, but was not called. Members who had served for three years received a letter of thanks from the King and were awarded the Defence Medal. I hope you have enjoyed this short presentation. Please take a moment to look at the links on this slide.